conducted an exhaustive search of the lake, but Mike's body was never found. No evidence, no nothing. There are a lot of theories going on about what's happened. He fell out of his boat. Alligators ate him. We've got a missing man. I've got alligators. Everyone thought that this was just a horrible accident. We just couldn't find the body. Two people that knew what had happened. Well, I would love to know what happened to Mike. <laughs> it looked like the perfect marriage. Denise Williams may have had some secrets of her own. Why couldn't y'all just get a divorce? Denise and Mike Williams, they were high school sweethearts. They seemed like a perfect couple. Mike Williams, he was driven, just a straight shooter. He loved his family. Denise Williams, she's amazing. She's a wonderful mother. She's very smart. Mike Williams was a good father. He was a successful businessman. He was a workaholic. He wanted to take care of his family. He put Denise on a pedestal and he loved her beyond measure. By appearances, it looked like the perfect marriage. Denise looks like the perfect wife. They look like they were made for each other. The couple brand new parents to their newborn daughter, Ansley. We're just totally overwhelmed. It was unbelievable. I have a whole new respect for my wife and women in general and what they go through to bring a, a new child, new life into the world. Mike was a good guy. He was just, he was a good guy. You just wouldn't believe the number of people in the office that worked with him that said, we all want to be married to Mike Williams. And the reason we did was because he took good care of whoever he loved. <laughs> One of Mike's greatest passions, duck hunting. He even had personalized duck-themed checks. He was planning a hunting trip, coming back from a hunting trip, going on a hunting trip, planning a fishing trip, looking at boats. He was constantly trying to figure out a way to get outside and enjoy life. Which is exactly what Mike Williams planned to do the morning of Saturday, December 16th, 2000, before leaving for Apalachicola with his wife. But local residents used to fictional murder mysteries are about to be drawn into one in real life.